Hi, I'm Morgan. Um, I'm the inventor of the Mod 54 processor. Um, and I thought it might be useful to run through the basic kit that you need to process your own film, color or black and white. So I've got two kits in front of me. The one on the right is the bare minimum, absolute basic kit that will get you up and running processing your own film. The one on the left is pretty much exactly the same as that. It's just got more fancy bits and it's my own kit. Okay, so here you go. Here's your basic kit. Um, I get a box, plastic box. It's always good to have a, keep everything in. Also, when you're developing film, you can keep all your containers inside the box. So any spillage gets contained in the box. And also, it's very good for making a water bath for color. So the first thing is a box. Second is your chemicals. In the beginning, I would just go for the bog standard, Ilford ID11, Ilford Fix, and stop. You don't really need to have stop because if you want, you can just use water. So depending on how your budget stretches you, it's not a five quid, so it's not massive. Then you need a load of containers, milk bottles. Just get old milk bottles to start with. They're very good. They're sealable, cheap as chips as they're free. And uh, I use them a lot, but I use them for most of my color work um, because I've got nice thin walls. Then a measuring jug. You've got to get a measuring jug. Uh, this is a Patterson 600ml measuring jug. That's probably all the size you want. Thermometer. Then you need a few extra bits. You need a funnel. It's always useful. So that, there we go. From Bargain World. That was one pound. Um, another measuring jug. One pound ten. A litre. Keep everything in the units of a litre. So one litre, one litre. Litre jug. The measuring jug is not a litre, but you don't need it. You then need a squeegee for taking all the water off the uh, film when you've processed it. And buy an old can opener like this, and that you can use to take the top off the film canister. Very cheap way of doing it. Again, one pound from the bargain world. Then you need something to hang the film off. I use an old coat hanger and um, just some clothes pegs. And one really useful thing then is I always have a cloth, just a towel in the darkroom so you can wipe any spillage off your hands and stuff. Um, and then we need to go, we need to talk about the processor. What tank are you going to get? So personally, I go for the bigger tank. Um, you can get smaller tanks, but the three reel tank gives you the most flexibility as you can pretty much shoot all the formats you're ever going to come across having one tank and for the extra cost which is not much I mean we're talking pounds not huge amount of money you know you get a tank that's going to last you a lot longer with this tank you can shoot four three rolls of 35 mil four rolls of 120 and six sheets of 54 so that's pretty much if you get bored or one format you can go switch to another or backwards or forwards or whatever way you want so anyway I this is the tank I use the final things to think about are where you're going to load your film um, I do it under the stairs in a little cupboard. It's sort of the easiest, you've got lots of room. Or you can get a changing bag like this. A bit more difficult to use, but I tend to put a little, block, a little cardboard box in there, which makes it more of a shape, so it's easier to move your hands around. Um, and then you just need some film sleeves. And that's, what, that's it, it's all the stuff you need. So there is something I forgot. Uh, basically, you need wetting agent. You use that at the very end of the process to rinse the eggs in to allow them to dry without any smears or spots on them. So yeah, wetting agent, add that to your list. And then my little bits of things that I really enjoy. The most simple thing, which I got recently, is this chemical stirrer. It's brilliant, better than using a thermometer. Uh, I have um, a syringe. I find that really useful for when you start playing with Rodinol, which is one of my favorite chemicals. Um, and then a real luxury is an actual 35mm can opener. Uh, it's not really luxury, but I mean, it, it does do the job much better than the uh, can opener. Uh, and then these film clips, which are absolutely amazing. Kodak self-draining bottom film clip. And they're really well weighted. And they are, I found those, I don't know where I found those, but they're an amazing piece of kit. And then... Final thing is, rather than using milk bottles, I use the old chemical bottles for my mixed chemicals. And I write outside what, what's inside, because otherwise you forget very quickly. And that is basically 
all the stuff. Oh, I also have a bigger measuring jug. This is the one, I only have one, and it's 1,200 milliliters. It's perfect. So and that basically is everything you need to process color and black and white film.